Today's paper is Rep Points, Point Set Representation for Object Section. The authors propose an anchor-free object section architecture. Instead of using predefined anchor boxes, the RPA detection model uses nine sample points for each object to find objects in an image. Without any bells and whistles, RP detection achieves average precision of 46.5 on COCO dataset. In object detection, bounding boxes are usually represented using 4D vectors of x, y, and w, h, where x, y denote the center point of an object and w, h represent width, height from the center point. Previous detection methods relied heavily on predefined or learned anchor boxes to pull up the performance of the model. In this paper, the authors instead use a set of adaptive sample points. It's stated that the number of points n is set to 9 for each object. These points are not found in a single forward pass. Instead, as shown in the bottom equation, a progressive refinement method is used to adjust the points. X subscript K and Y subscript K denote previously found rep point and delta XK and YK denote predicted offsets from the old ones. The method converts predicted rep points to a bounding box by considering three converting functions. First is the min-max function. The function applies min-max operation on the rep points to find a minimum bounding box over the points. Second is the partial min-max function. Instead of applying min-max function over all the rep points, this function is applied on a subset of the sample points. Lastly, moment-based function is used to take the mean value and the standard deviation of the rep points to find the center point and scale of the rectangular box. The figure shows the architecture of the RP detector. The model uses FPN as a backbone. In the figure, it shows only one scale of FPN feature maps, but note that the prediction is made in different FPN outputs to handle objects of different size. Also, all scales of FPN feature maps share the same architecture and weights afterwards. The model uses two recognition stages based on deformable convolution. The authors claim that the use of deformable convolution is a nice pair to the idea because the convolutions are computed on irregularly distributed set of sample points and the recognition feedback can position the points on the object regions. Before finding multiple rep points on object regions, following the method proposed by YOLO and Densebox, the model first finds rep points of the center location of the objects. And from these center points, second set of rep points are found, where these points learn finer object localization. In order to train the network, two loss objectives are used. First, as shown in the figure, on both offset 1 and offset 2, a point loss between generated pseudo box and ground truth is computed. Also, in subsequent stages, Object recognition loss is calculated to let the model predict the class of their object. As mentioned earlier, the architecture and the weights of the head are shared after each FPN feature map outputs. The table shows comparison of RP detector with other state-of-the-art detectors on COCO dataset. The network achieves average precision of 46.5, surpassing all other detectors. Also, performance of RP detector is high on average precision 50, which is believed as a better metric. Lastly, here are some qualitative results of the RP detection model. Looking closely, we can observe the points detected by the network. The points are usually positioned on the boundaries or semantic key points of the object. For more details of the architecture or the training process of the model, I suggest reading the paper in detail. 
Link to the paper and some useful resources will be provided in the description. That's all for today, and I'll see you next time with a new paper.